Hello again everyone and welcome back to the void with me, TommyToss75. And as you recall in the last episode we killed the pangolin that was in here. A weird water pangolin. And um, there's bats everywhere. And I was harvesting fireflies, which I was doing off screen. And while doing so I found a cave but I've not been in yet I've harvested the fireflies I don't think there's any left there might be some further up the ramp actually but I don't think so I want to go in here oh, it's dark isn't it oh hello I'm having that ritual the ritual creates a small beacon from revived dead roots after a beacon is charged with color, it searches for others like itself. If three beacons find each other, they form a triangle and emit color to each other as a greeting. When these colors merge in the center, they create a shock wave, devastating anything inside the triangle. Well, that sounds fun. L. Okay, we're going to use it on Rollerball. There's one beacon. There's another one. Different colour. Do they have to be different colours? No, nah, probably not. Make sure he's in the middle of them. Let's see what this does. Oh, very nice. We've got a weapon. And, um... While it's dark, actually, I want to try out... Um... Yeah, torch. I want to I wanna try it out, because I've not used it yet. Which colour shall I use? Um... I'll use crimson. Just because. So. Ah. That definitely helps with seeing things. There's another thing that I might have missed otherwise. What is that? It's a hand holding a glowing ball. I can't. I can't get in. That must be an easter egg. A reference to something. But I don't know what. I like it though. I do like it. But I can't play with it. That's a shame. Oh well, let's um, let's get out. There's nothing more here, I don't think. The wall just repelled me. So let's go. Well, I'm glowing red. And um, what are we to do? I would like to. Unlock some more sisters' hearts. But I'm not sure if I can. I could use some amber. There's a tiny bit in there, but that brother's in there at the moment. Maybe when he's gone. See, I want to do her second heart to open up these two sisters. She wants violet and amber. And I've got some violet now. Not enough, but some. But zero amber. Which is bad. And that does appear to be the only place where there is any. Unfortunately. 
Ah. Someone's speaking to me. It's my mentor. Listen to the revelation, young one. And don't be tempted. Follow the true path, and you'll be glorified alongside all the righteous ones. And the secrets of being will reveal themselves to you. I think he's already told me that before. Hasn't he? Anyway. They told me everything. I was waiting for checking you. the other realms. No, there's just no amber anywhere. Except there. I'm gonna head that way. Painting with my invisible amber. Let's just do into there. And hopefully. It's, it's Manted. Hopefully, Manted will leave. And then I can go in and see what he's left. There's not much of this cycle left. Let's get there. Might pop in while he's there, see if he has anything different to say. Oh, he's gone anyway. That's even better. Right. No, see, there's nothing left. There's nothing left. He got it all. The only place I could have got Amber. And, um... Nope. No amber for me. Hmm. While I'm here, I might have another go at magnetizing that heart. Because maybe I can catch it if I'm lucky. Emerald's filling up nicely. I'll do an emerald magnet. G. G is likely for gravity. Now if it sucks the heart... Yep. It just bounced off me. Chase it, chase it. Wasp. I got it! This glyph creates an annoying golem out of dust and dead roots. I got it as it flew past. After creation, the wasp golem follows its creator until it's chased away with a drop of color. Annoyed at its rejection, the golem leaves its master and seeks out an enemy to harm. Upon colliding with the target, the wasp golem explodes and dies, scalding the victim with released color. The more color the golem is charged with, the farther it sees and the greater the damage it does on collision. Well, that sounds like fun. I can create my own wasp now. Funny J sort of shape. Yeah. That's more like it. Neat little weapon. What's that? Um, I don't think there's anything else here. I'm glad I got that. Anyway, um, the only reason I came here was hoping for Amber, but I got a wasp instead. My very own wasp. How wonderful. You are one ugly fellow. I tell you that. Right, so... I guess there's nothing here, so leave. Oh, wait. I could plant a little tree. But I don't want to plant a little tree. They just don't seem worth it anymore. Let's save the game, because I've not done that for a while. 
And... What am I going to do with her amber? Let's have a look. She wants amber and gold. Sorry, you can't have any. Well, she wants crimson and azure. That will at least unlock Yanni. Right, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll make our way to Yanni. So... Um, oh, the cycle's close to ending as well. Act up to there. And this cycle is coming to an end right there. Now there's Amber. How's my health? Good enough. And... Oh! Echo? Hello? You see, Aya and I managed to escape our chambers because we were the Sleeper's favorite creations. He was a true master and champion back then, destined for a great future, the kind that changes history. We are his masterpieces, but freedom played an evil joke on us. We became separated from color. You won't stumble on us often, so don't waste time when you do. Free us when we're nearby. If you wait until the end to remember me, It'll be too late. Because the end comes suddenly, guest. You have my word on that. Okay. I'll take your word for it. So should I be feeding them? What would the benefit be? I just don't see a benefit. I could, right now, I could easily unlock her first heart, easily. And I haven't even seen Aya yet. Oh boy, this does keep coming up, I think it might be important. I can't access my thing to put loads of gold in and I don't want to give her any colour if I don't have gold in my hearts so I'm just gonna leave I might come back to her she does hang around on the map so I can get back to her but for now Echo I'm sorry but I've got no colour for you but your time will come. Hmm. Right, I need to harvest that while I'm here. I want to go back into the mine, into the hump. I want to try that um, magnet trick again. But before we do that, we're going to give this girl a lot of colours. Absolutely lots. I'm going to stand there so she can't get up. Ah! Right. Fill up with gold. Lots and lots of beautiful gold. And. Yep, that's full. That loot. And uh, can I use the invisible amber for this part? No. Oh well. Um. Right. So she wants crimson. I've got so much of that. Needs a total of four hundred. 
So th this will count for more than 200 because of because of all the gold I've got on me. So this is more than half. Leaves my crimson bucket empty, but that's okay. That's okay. That was a lot of colour. And that's a weird camera angle. Okay. Top it off with Azure. Um, needs 96 of that. Now, I think I actually give a less than 96 and the multiplier comes. So I'll give her about 50 odd, 60 odd. I give her 60 something. But that gets multiplied by the gold. Just fell five short. Nice and quick. There you go. That's all she needs. She's getting stronger. Strong enough to stand up. what kind of famine the sisters died from. This famine is the powerlessness of the soul. Suffering from hunger comes when it's easy to live, but you're sick of living. Hunger is when you don't even have the strength to want for something. Okay. Wow, the next one would be 800. Heavy price to pay. That's a lot of colour. Anyway, now we've done that, we've unlocked um, Yanni. But I'm not going straight to Yanni. I do want to check out the. Uh, The thingamajig, that room there. Just uh, the hump. Keep forgetting what it's called. I want to try fetching the heart down with the magnet again, because I think that should have worked. I did it before, but I couldn't pick up the heart. And I don't know why that doesn't. Doesn't seem right. I'm gonna see if I can catch it. Um, look at it up there, laughing at me. Let's throw some colour onto that. Now, hopefully, go on, magnet. Up you go. Keep rising. Pull that thing down. Pull it down. Was I not close enough? Oh. Well, that was a waste. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna cl uh, climb. Climb up there. Why can't I do it now? There we go. Um, woo. Try again. Get a bit closer this time. I, I think I should be able to get that. I reckon the reason I couldn't get it before was a bug. I might be wrong. Maybe I am just not supposed to be able to get it. But I'm giving it another try. Come on. Pull that thing. 
it's just not doing it now. It's just not doing it. Um. Should I try one more time? Am I wasting colour? I probably am. Try a silver one. Just because I've got more of that. I think I may be wasting colour. This will have to be the last attempt. It'll have to be. There it goes, there it goes. Now, wherever it lands, when the magnet explodes, Right. Let me have it. Yes, I can this time. Repulse. This glyph creates a small beacon by reviving dead roots. The beacon forces dense, solid objects to move away from itself, and the more color you charge the beacon with, the heavier the object it can repulse and the longer the effect. Okay, it's the opposite of the magnet. Is it stopping the brother from approaching? I don't know. Anyway, we've got it. It must have bugged out the other time I tried. But I've got it now, and that used far too much colour. Not happy about that. But we've got it now. We can recover from the loss of colour. Let's uh, harvest what I planted in Moorage. And then, although I've unlocked Yanni, I'm not even going to say hi to it. I really need to get this amber that appeared. If I can remember where it appeared. I, I can't remember where it appeared. Oh no. There's none. Hang on. There's none there. None there. None there. None there. Where did the amber go? Where did the amber go? That ain't right. Who's, uh... Oh, he's come for that garden again. There's nothing in that garden. Oh. Was there a bit of amber in there? Damn. Not sure. But... The amber's just not appearing. Even though some came down at the start of the cycle. That doesn't make sense. Something's killing the amber off. Huh. That sucks. Maybe I can get some from her chambers then. Um. I'll have to see. Right, let's, uh. Let me just harvest my stuff. Half expecting to see some baddies around here, but um, no, 
there's no monsters here. I wonder why. You'd think there would be, with all the gardening I've been doing. But there are no monsters. How strange. Right, let's grab the gold. Be your guiding light. And tree full of gold here. Well, not full, but I thought that was a freshly planted one. Um, mustn't be. Mustn't be these are though. I've not harvested these yet. 103. If only that was amber. If only that was amber. Oh well. It ain't. Gonna have to make some room for the next one. Because, uh... Yep, plenty of room now. Plenty of room. And uh, that didn't have as much in it as I thought it would. But no matter. Anything happening down there? No? No, there's nothing happening. Down there, I see. I see a sprig of colour over there. Let's jump across. Not literally. Not from there, anyway. Um, up and over. There it is. It's green. I'm not going to recharge the, the trap. Hang on. Oh, just a weirdly coloured rock. Thought I'd found another cave then. But it's not. It's just a funny looking rock. Right. So... I was going to go and fetch the amber that appeared. But since there isn't any, it's magically gone. What the hell happened to it? So much colour there. How am I doing for... I could use a bit more silver. Oh, I need to convert some crimson. I've, I've emptied the bucket, haven't I? In that case... gonna stuff a load into my hearts because that bucket does need refilling got quite a lot of hearts now oh no that's it's already got colour in it um, that one's empty these are all empty as well I'll do a bit of violet. I'll top that one up slightly and convert a little more. I could top up my gold bucket as well. And the green one. It's looking alright, isn't it? That'll fill me buckets up nicely. As I head to... I do want to go there. I'm, I'm close to her. She wants Azure and Violet. I would actually be able to 
unlock her first heart as soon as I arrive. That's probably worth it, so let's do that then. Change of plan? Change of plan? We're going to Yanni's house. Where's he going? Nothing there. Nothing there, Montgolfier. Ooh. It really is a house. Whoa. Frame rate went nuts. Is she walking around? Well, I want to search the house. There may be a heart here somewhere. Uh, chair got me. Haha! <laughs> I'm a terrible guest. I see light over there. It's just a lamp, though. Yep, it's just a lamp. Can I knock it over? No. Shame. Shame. Can I, can I have the light bulb? No. Okay. What have we got in here? This place is a mess. That's an unusual thing to find in a house. She collects gravestones. Nice. Well, you gotta have a hobby. Alright. Here's the bloodstained bathroom. It looks oddly familiar. I'm expecting to see her wandering around. Anyway, um... Yeah! What was that? What's she doing? No one there. Hello. Um. Hey, I don't have a reflection. No. Okay. Was it you making all that noise? She's kind of cute. Talk to me. Finally you came. I wanted to tell you not to wait for me, kind guest. I've seen the upper limit. It is dying of the same hunger, if not worse. I'm not going up there. And now I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. Color is lying to you. You think it's giving you wise advice? Helping you against the brothers? You don't know what awaits you in the end. Did Color tell you the cost of his ascent? Watch out, kind guest. Color is poison. Right. I'm getting a lot of conflicting information. Um, I would do. I'm a bit, yeah. Run out of time, but let's make the final act. One of color. And, uh, 
all of a sudden there's an absolute racket happening outside. I'm not sure if the microphone's picking it up. Uh, apologies if it is. Right, well, let's, um, oh, no, let's, uh, let's unlock a heart with bucket loads. Is she the same? Yeah, still 200. Give her a bunch of emerald. That's not emerald. I'm doing my colours wrong again. That's, um... Violet. Ah, she's a circus performer. Balancing on a ball. Do you know how many of his voices speak to you, kind guest? Do you think they all agree with each other? They can't stand each other. There's a war going on between them. Each of them speaks to you only rarely to keep your meetings a secret from the others. Okay, let's finish it off with a bit of azure. I'm not sure if that was enough. She's dancing. In the end, colors will face one another and demand that you judge their battle. That's why they're incompatible. In the end, only one of them, the strongest one, will let you perform the rite of devotio. Did you find out which one? No, I didn't. Well, we unlocked her first heart. And that's a great place to end this episode. In the next one, we'll go and check out her chambers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.